technology is not bad. It's just we have to learn, first of all, limits, right? And we have to learn long-term ramifications and how it's affecting things that maybe we can't see. But I just love how your technology is a solution to how do we stay in the modern world but still be in an optimal state. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, you know, I think, like you said, you know, we're living in this technological world, which affords us lots of different capabilities and opportunities, some of which um, have been deemed as, you know, good and useful and helpful and others very addictive, like our cell phones, you know, young kids, especially have been hooked on their phones. And if you take their, their cell phone away, they act very irrational. Um, you know, or if they lose their cell phone, very irrational. So some of these technologies are addictive. One of the things that I appreciate about cell phones is uh, it allows us to stay interconnected with people. I think it's really a teaching tool because it has the opportunity to teach us about omniscience and omniscience is all knowing where we have the ability to access information about any subject matter, you know, at any time, anywhere on the planet. I think it also gives us the opportunity to turn on discernment. Without discernment, you won't be able to tell what information is correct and not. And that's where resonance comes into play, where we have to um, start to raise our vibration. As we raise our vibration, you start to realize that you have an internal compass needle that can direct you as to what information is correct and what information is not correct or not correct for you.